Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a nice uh, teleportation system like the one in uh, Pet Simulator X. Also, today is my birthday guys, I'm turning 16 today. Uh, so if you guys can subscribe and like the video, that would be a great birthday gift. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make the GUI. So for that, I made you guys a nice GUI that you can use. The link will be in the description. Once you get it, uh, you're going to go to the toolbox and click on my models. And then you can just click on it and it will go to the workspace. It's called teleport GUI, no scripts. And then what you can do is drag it inside of uh, star GUI. And as you can see, you're going to get this nice looking uh, teleport GUI. Now, what I'm going to do is just uh, rename the screen GUI to main GUI. And I'm going to rename the frame to uh, teleport frame. And then what I'm going to do is go to the scrolling frame and there is a template in here that you can duplicate depending on how many areas you have so what i'm gonna do is just um, rename this one to spawn and you can change the text button's text to whatever you want so for me it's going to be spawn and what i'm gonna do is uh, hide this UI by going to view and the UI visibility and then I'm going to add a folder to the workspace and I'm going to call it um, teleport uh, teleport parts well, or teleport points sorry teleport points oh my god I can't type uh, teleport points okay so what we're going to do now is add a part to the teleport points and this one is going to be my first teleport point so i'm going to set its size to four comma one actually comma two comma four and i'm going to actually comma one and i'm going to change the color to a nice bright red and then i'm going to set its transparency to 0 0.5 and make sure that can collide is unchecked and that anchored is checked and then you can change the transparency to one but for me it's going to be 0 0.5 so that i can see it so 0 0.5 and uh, okay so uh, 0 0.5 for the transparency and i'm going to rename it to the name of my uh, teleport area so this one is going to be spawn because I want the button named spawn to teleport me to spawn. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, put it right here. And I'm going to add another one that's going to be here. And it's going to be called uh, world one. And I'm going to set its color to blue. And then I'm going to go to the uh, UI. So I'm going to go view UI visibility. And I'm going to duplicate this spawn frame. And this one is going to be named uh, world1. So make sure to spell it the exact same way uh, for the other one. And I'm going to change the text of this to world1. World okay. So what we're going to do now is just make it so that this teleport button will open up this frame. So we're going to make this frame invisible. And I'm going to add a local script to this teleport button, and I'm going to rename it to uh, open or toggle. Toggle would be better, I think. Okay, so now we need the frame itself. So local frame equals script dot parent dot parent comma with child teleport frame. Okay, so now script dot parent dot mouse button one click comma connect function, and what we're gonna do is frame dot visible equals not frame dot visible. Okay, so what this does is basically it sets the visibility of the frame to the opposite of its current visibility. So if it's true, then it will be false. If it's false, then it will be true. Okay, so now we need to do the exact same thing for the uh, close button. So I'm going to copy this script and I'm going to go to my close button right here and I'm going to add a local script to it and I'm going to rename it to close. Okay, now paste in that, and instead of script.parent.com for shots uh, that, we're going to just do script 
dot parent dot parent and this will be just false because we don't want to set it to the opposite of its current visibility we just want to make it invisible so it will be false now if you go ahead and play the game i think this should work so i'm going to open up my teleport gui and as you can see i can and i can close it and i can close it with this so now we know that this works i don't know why my camera is laggy but yeah that's about it okay let's see why my camera is lagging um i don't really know why but anyways okay so what i'm gonna do now is just close these and i'm going to add a local script to the main gui and it's going to be called teleport client now we will uh get a reference to the frame so we'll call teleport frame equals script.parent of child teleport frame okay so we'll call scrolling frame so the container of those teleportation uh, buttons. So scrolling frame equals uh, teleport frame, calling with a child scrolling frame and local. Um, that's it, that's all we need. Now what we need to do is maybe wait something like three seconds and we will look through all of the scrolling frames children. So we're gonna, we're gonna look through all of, this, all of them. So for underscore comma V in scrolling frame, Colon get children do and what we're gonna do is uh, v dot text button uh, dot mouse button button one click one connect function and we're just going to call a function that we're gonna make right here so local function teleport okay so uh, it's going to take the button so then we're going to call the function called teleport and we're going to send v which is the button so what this does is it just loops through everything that's inside of the scrolling frame so spawn world one and if this button inside of it is pressed then we're going to call the teleport function okay so i'm going to get rid of this task.wait3 and what i'm going to do is put that task.wait up here task.wait3 okay so what we need to do now is a remote event inside of replicated storage uh so remote event or remote function and we're gonna rename it to teleport and what i'm gonna do is local result equals uh replicated storage so we need replicated storage so local replicated storage equals game call and get service replicated storage and the result will be equal to replicated storage dot teleport on calling invoke calling invoke server and that's going to take the button dot name okay so we're going to add a script to the server and it's going to be called teleport client and what we're going to do in here is just replicate storage again so local replicate storage equals game call get service replicate storage and remotes so uh, actually no replicate storage dot teleport dot on server invoke is equal to function and what we're gonna do in this function is is we're gonna take the player and the area or the uh, or the uh, teleport point name and then what or maybe just area and what we're gonna do now is so let's say you have a folder inside of the player uh, inside of the player and that has all of the areas that the player owns so what we're gonna do is just if so don't do this if you don't have this but if player dot uh teleport dot areas or owned areas can find first child first child area then then you're gonna do everything here so do stuff uh and else just print uh you don't have this area uh but if you don't have this like i do I'm just not going to do this. But if you need any condition, just add it. Uh, so what we're going to do now is uh, get the get the player's character. So local character equals player dot character or player dot character added con wait. Now I'm going to check if character can't find first child hu humanoid humanoid. And uh, character dot humanoid dot health is greater than zero then 
what we're gonna do is teleport the player so we need to check if there is a teleport point so what we're gonna do in here is check if um if character and uh workspace dot teleport points can fight first child area then actually no what we're gonna do is if character equals equals nil or or not that then we're gonna just return so what this does if it's confusing is if it checks if the character is equal to nothing or there is no uh teleport area then what we're gonna do is just return which is going to just stop everything after this from running so what we're gonna do now is teleport the player so character uh call and find first child so character uh dot humanoid root part dot humanoid root part part dot c frame equals c, c frame equals uh workspace dot teleport points uh, square brackets area uh dot c frame also make sure that the teleport points are a bit high up so that the player doesn't clip through the base plate and what i'm gonna do now is just uh see if this is gonna work so i'm going to just go click teleport and teleport to spawn and nothing happens so we have a, a an error so text button is not a valid member of that okay easy fix all we need to do is check if v uh if if not v con is a uh um frame then return and then i uh, continue and so now we're gonna play again although i don't know why my mouse is doing this weird thing where it just clips randomly but what i'm gonna do is just teleport to spawn and as you can see i can teleport to spawn if i teleport to world one i can teleport to world one so i really need to fix my mouse why is it doing that yes i'm going to fix it and i'll be back okay so i fixed it by reopening the place hopefully that doesn't happen again and what i'm gonna do now is uh, show you how to add a nice uh, smooth transition so what i'm gonna do here is return true and if all this is uh, then just return true i guess okay so what we're gonna do is teleport the player so we're gonna check if result equals equals true then uh, what we're gonna do is just give a nice uh, play a nice transition so we need to get tween service so local tween service equals game we'll get service tween service and what we're gonna do is just add a, uh, a frame to the main gy and we're gonna set its size to one comma zero comma one comma zero now the background color will be something will be black and i'm just going to set its um Okay, so I'm going to set. Uh, okay, so uh, select your screen GY and make sure that ignore GY and set is checked. And now you can just make sure make this uh, frame invisible, and just call it a uh, transition. Now what we're gonna do is get this transition frame. So local transition transition equals uh, script dot parent script dot parent wait for call and wait for child transition. And what we're gonna do after calling that is uh, play the transition. So what I'm gonna do is whenever we press it, we will play the transition. Um, okay, let me think about this. Okay, so whenever we press it, we're gonna play the transition. Uh, so local tween. Okay, so transition dot background transparency equals one and transition Tween service colon create transition comma tween info dot new and uh, 0 0.8 comma and uh, background transparency so background back, just copy this background transparency equals zero and after we set the background transparency to zero we're gonna wait pass dot wait and we're gonna wait something we're gonna wait zero we're gonna wait uh, something like two seconds then a uh, tween service can create just copy that also make sure to add colon play just copy that and this time the transparency will be one colon play and then what we're gonna do is uh, uh, teleport 
Okay, let's see if that's gonna work. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just call the result after 0 0.9 seconds. So that's the wait, 0 0.9 seconds, and then uh, get the result. So let me just space these out a little. Get the result, wait two seconds, uh, and uh, like that tween. And if result equals equals true, then just print yes. Else, just uh, get it get a uh, maybe a maybe uh, give the player a notification so you can use my notification tutorial that i made uh yesterday i think you can use that if you want so in here we're just gonna print uh false okay in here i'm gonna print true okay i'm gonna see if this works and by the way after doing that we need to wait we need to wait 0 0.8 and uh, transition dot background transparency equals uh, zero equals one actually what am I doing not visible equals false and in here transition dot visible equals true okay play the game now see if this works I really hope my mouse doesn't snap again okay it's doing the snapping thing again I'll be back Okay, so I, open, I opened up the place again. Hopefully this doesn't happen again. And what I'm gonna do is... Okay, it's sniping again. That's so annoying. Okay, so I'm just going to click spawn. Add a nice transition place. And I'm going to find myself in the spawn area, which is great. So now we're gonna click world one. And I'm sure that if we spam this, we're, gonna, we're not gonna get good results. Actually... Maybe you can add a cooldown if you want. So we can do that right now. So local debounce, local debounce equals false. And what we're gonna do here is check if not debounce, if not, if actually if debounce, then return. And uh, else, oh my God, what is happening? So if debounce, then return. Uh, so debounce, uh, okay, what, what is that? Oh my god, debounce equals true. And uh, after setting the debounce to true, uh, in here we're gonna set the debounce to false. Okay, you can play the game now, and this is gonna work. You shouldn't be able to spam it anymore. So teleport, spawn. Uh, did that work or not? Okay, so world one works. Now I'm going to spam spawn. And yeah, yeah, it does work. It does work. Okay, so it does work. Now what I'm gonna do is, yeah, I think that's about it. So if this video helped, please subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.